Thorsty. Thorsty. Anyway, welcome back to Later Alligator. I'm Bobby. Uh, I'm Mia Rosina. It's true. And we're doing voices. We're playing Later Alligator. We're going after all the badges. And we're we're in New York City. Hey. Yeah, hey. We're, yeah we're in Al Alligator New York City. Oh. Hey, I'm gaming over here. <laughs> hey, I'm gaming over here. Welcome to Eat Emergency, where your hunger is sated with urgency. Today's specials are 12 cc's of sliders. Comes with chips or saline. You can add a side salad if you meet your deductible. <laughs> okay. If you're having a real eat emergency, close the game and go to your local urgent care or greasy hot dog joint. If you're looking for dessert, that's more sweet emergencies deal up on 4th Street, dog. If you'll excuse me, I'm having my own wheat emergency, as in, I'm gluten intolerant and stress ate a bunch of burger buns in a break room breakdown. You know how it is working in the food service industry. I, I get the eating all the stuff in a breakdown. Yeah, it's true. What the hell? I guess we'll go to you next. Oh, well, I'm not doing anything. I mean, well, I'm not exactly true. I'm standing here, and existing, somewhat. Mood. I mean, Snoot is running from lagweed allergies. It. Mood. Oof. I'm not doing anything that has to do with soda machine, though. All right, what, soda soda machine, though? what sodas do we have? We have bug Dr. Soda. We have bug cream. We have cold cola. Cold cola. The fruit one. The fruit one. <laughs> Damn, I love the fruit one. Oh, I, I love, love how it even has the fucking like one a day one. From I hate the that so much. It's so good. Sick, sick lemon. lemon. Oh, I love sick and lemon. I can't quite see the last one. Yeah. Oh, nothing at all. All right, whom is you? I'm Giovanni. Dentist sire. <laughs> <laughs> Dentist sire. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, these are funny. Just a t t totally cool gator teen who hangs out at the park. Yeah. By himself. Aw, man. With the soda. Dude, I know exactly what it is to be a soda teenager. Like... Oh god, this reminds me of my soda theft story. <laughs> you want to share the soda theft story? I do, because I'm fairly certain it's outside of the uh, statute of limitations, and also not a crime. Um, so, so, uh, my mom's house is right up the street from a Burger King. Like, like, not even a block. Um... And when I was old enough to, I guess around like middle school age, my mom was like, hey, you can just go walk over to Burger King. I'm like, shit, really? Damn. So I used to walk over to Burger King because we lived near Burger King. And every so often when we would get fast food, we would go over there and shit. And for a while back in the day, they had really large plastic cups. That was their king size. They had these huge plastic cups. And... Even after that, for a while, they had basically limited edition graphics that they would print on it. For a while, they had Halo 3 cups. Uh, they would have other promotions. And me and my brother got the idiot idea to um, take those, to wash them out, and to keep them. And then walk over to Burger King and stick them under the soda machine, fill them up without paying, and leave. And we did this for about several years. <laughs> and then eventually, and I remember this, eventually they added those fucking, what are they? Like the Coca-Cola remix machines or whatever that have like a bajillion. Uh, oh yeah, the freestyle. Yeah, the freestyles. So we were doing that and then 
like employees and like a ma like I think we a manager saw us and they're like, hey, you can't actually do this anymore. And we're like, what? Yeah, you can't do this anymore. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so that ended my soda stealing days of getting just like fucking 64 ounces of like Coca Cola cherry for free. <laughs> Wait, Bobby, I have bad news. What? I, I just checked and they removed the statute of limitation for soda crimes. Shit! Bobby, Bobby, you shouldn't have admitted that. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I've stolen maybe five dollars worth of soda because soda water and fucking syrup is cheap as dicks. It's the cups that cost a lot. Yeah. Uh, anyways. I think they realize that and they're like, hey, you just need to stop this. And we're like, all right, we'll stop. <laughs> please stop your food crimes. Yeah, please stop your soda crimes. <laughs> please stop soda theft. Pat? You mean my cousin Pat? Yeah, he's great. We used to play a lot more when I was a little kid, but I still think he's pretty cool. Sometimes he'll meet me at the mall food court after school and we get nachos. That is like, yeah, like if you're like a 12 year old, that is like the coolest thing someone can do. It's like, yeah, yeah, let's go to the mall. Yeah, let's fucking fill our faces with like processed cheese. Hell yeah, dude. I'm lactose intolerant, so <laughs> my dad doesn't let me have that stuff usually because it makes me blow chunks. Eh. But Pat doesn't mind holding my hoodie back while I spew. Real homies. Let's go. He's a total bro. Aw, Pat. Oh, the what? I event? Hey, okay, you got me. I'll spill my guts. And I said I wasn't doing anything earlier. I was sort of maybe definitely a lie. <laughs> you see that soda machine right there? Sure do. Truth is, I'm a bit of a cola connoisseur. And this fountain in particular is a beaut. Hell yeah, soda thief. All the best in his classic flavors. Soda's so rare, they stopped making them in the 90s. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Rosina, do you remember Crystal Pepsi? I do. What a horrible soda that they convinced white people to buy. What a, yeah. sh what a shitty cream I think. Soda. I think this story was after you graduated, but there was a time that uh, Livy helped convince me to get a crystal pepsi to try it i wasn't gonna do it but she she convinced me because it was uh 90s or whatever uh Ugh. and and when i tried it i i hated it but i needed to drink every last sip <laughs> and let Livy know the whole time how much i hated it <laughs> that is like the most you sentence i've ever heard it's like Livy's like hey you should drink this you're like no i i'm not gonna like this and then you take a sip you're like i don't like this Livy's like finish it <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, fine, but I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, yeah, basically. That's the mo <laughs> like the most you thing because it's such a mild inconvenience, but it's the worst <laughs> mild inconvenience. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just, I'm just a silly Billy. You are a silly Billy. You are a silly Millie. It's true. It's like time stopped here. Letting me pick up prepubescent organs and carbonated bliss. Oh god, I have... Prepubescent organs. Oh my god, I have probably ruined my intestines with how much soda I used to drink. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I made the decision when I was in high school. I used to, every day after school, I'd eat peanut M&Ms and drink a soda. And at a certain point, I was like, okay, this isn't healthy for me. Yeah. I've got to give up one of these. So I decided to give up the soda. Yeah, no, you're a, you're, you're a peanut M&M. I still have a peanut m and addiction. Yeah, no, look, if there are, there are many things I know about you, but one of them is that you're a slut for peanut M&Ms. You love those shits. I am an absolute whore for peanut M&Ms. Once at this very spot, I mixed a soda combo so great that the last of my baby, uh, baby teeth disintegrated with a slide with. Rosina, this is just you. <laughs> this is just you and your fucking dumb dog water root beer Dasani combo. <laughs> Oh 
my god, this is just you. Sadly, no matter how I try, I can't seem to get the flavor right again. Oh my god. I mean, if you really want, if you really want to go into how much it's like me, you've also got the long hair and the the oversized hoodie to help protect from the body dysmorphia. It's true. It is true. I ha I have seen you basically disappear into the land of chunky sweatshirts. Yeah. Plus, I'm Italian. It's true. You Maybe are. Maybe if we figure it out, I can help you with something. <laughs> Hooked on tonics. Hooked on tonics! Mix up the drinks and see what he thinks! Soda Fountain, uh -oh. boys! Also, we have a friend of the stream here, uh, Lamb. Oh, yo! What up, Lamb? Say hi, Lamb. Hi, Lamb. <laughs> All right. Is she just hanging out in the background, or is she gonna join us? <laughs> uh, she's just in the background. Sick. We Playing got a lamb. lamb. We got a lamb in the background. Uh, lamb. try to try to follow G Giovanni's uh, soda. Move the cup to the right. See the recipes, and then up to the fountains to add the flavor. All right, let's fuck us up. You have my recipe card. Those are the sodas I've already invented. But how can I make something totally new and different? Yeah. I don't know. Feels like a lot of pressure. I guess, um... Can I taste the fruit one with the... Uh, I can't remember what it's like. Fruit one. Meh. <laughs> That's right, I remember the fruit one now. I hate this soda, it tastes like chemicals. <laughs> I need to wash the taste out of my <laughs> mouth. Give me the sick lemon. I love how it's like, it tastes like chemicals. Now give me Mountain Dew. Mmm, <laughs> yes, a sweet sugary rush of sick lemon. Sick lemon is the best, most delicious, most addictive soda of all time. <laughs> it's my very favorite. Maybe I can take inspiration from one of my old recipes. Yeah. Can you look at my recipe card and make me a face melter? Face melter! Uh, okay, so face melter. Oh yeah, cool ass! Yeah! Cool ass. <laughs> All right, dentist and lemon. Dentist and lemon. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Inspiring flavor. Yes, this is masterful. You're a genius, past Giovanni. Let's use a face melter as a base. But how do we make a face melter even better? That's mm. the question. Now I'm cracking out of pressure at my own success. Let's try mixing face melter and cool guy juice together. Maybe. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay. So, cold cola, fruit one, dentist, lemon. So, dentist... Sick lemon! The fruit one! Cold! Uh, ice cubes! <laughs> they said it was cold. It's true, it's cold cola. Uh, it's okay, but... I expected it to be better. Take this and let me think. Mm. What's wrong with this soda mix? Maybe I'm just bad at mixing sodas. <laughs> God, the Maybe fucking... Maybe it's the fruit one. Yeah, the fucking imposter syndrome of immediately getting something wrong is like, I suck at this, I'm so bad. <laughs> I guess it could be a weird flavor, though. Does Cool Guy Juice have the bad flavor in it? The one from earlier? Yes, it does. Combine the two recipes again, and this time take out the flavor I didn't like. All right, yeah. No fruit one. No fruit one. Sick lemon. Cold cola. The giggler. Dr. Giggler. <laughs> it's 
such a dumb move. Hey. That's perfect! You totally nailed it. In your honor, I'm going to name this drink Braces Boiler. Thanks for your help. Yeah, let's go. Hooked on tonics! Wow, your mixing soda skills are truly a force to be reckoned with. God, the fucking mood of playing with your little, uh, uh, hoodie, hoodie lines. Hoodie strings. Yeah. What a mood. I knew when I saw you, this was, there was a sticky, <laughs> a pimpled teen inside you, just waiting to be lured out. To yeah. Make the perfect sugary concoction. I've been preparing an extra special beverage for Pat. It's gonna be killer. Killer awesome, I mean. Not like it will kill him. <laughs> he does get startled pretty easy, though. It's true. Sudden moves tend to make him dive action movie style out of plate glass windows. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks again for your help, Flavor Master. See you tonight. Yeah. Gaming. Gaming! All right, yeah, and what are you up to? Weird ukulele. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, it, don't look at me. <laughs> stop! Stop looking! I cut it out! Please stop! <laughs> Please, I have a wife and kids! Please, I have a wife and cats! <laughs> That's me! Please, I have three cats! Okay, okay, it's five cats in a body pillow with a crude drawing of a person done in Sharpie! Please don't tell my parents how I live! <laughs> Rude? Put a coin into my hat. The su song I play is sweet. If you don't agree with that, do I do not give receipts. Eh. The breeze, she sighs. The fountain coos. My mandolin does holler. So it's no surprise or clever ruse that I expect a dollar. Thanks, little bard. Be sure sit so close to me, though you enjoy my arts. For if you do not start to flee, I'll punch you in soft parts. Don't punch my soft... <laughs> oh, this guy. Dwang! Dwang! Yeah, alright. Okay, I think that's all of the options here. Wait, who's that really far in the background? Uh, that is, uh, one of Pat's brothers. We... Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. no, I got him, um, when, before you showed up. Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, we haven't been to the unsavory part of town. We gotta go to the unsavory part of town. Yeah! I wanna savor it! <laughs> that guy looks very, very kind. He looks very nice. <laughs> Very good boy. Mm. Unknown. Hey, buddy. Your old guide here. Just wanted to warn you, in a city so big, there's bound to be parts of town that are a little seedy. I'm talking seedy tough guys. Seedy tough guys who eat the seeds of things without spitting them out into a napkin politely. Just be careful. Don't go clicking around in back alleys or anything. You never know what you might find. Uh, well, I found a puzzle piece. Nah, we're going into the back alley. Oh! Oh! Girls, girls, girls! Girls, girls, That's me! Girls. I'm three girls in a trench coat. Oh, shit! <laughs> Literally a girls club. That's awesome. Hell yeah. That's awesome! Learning about girls. That's incredible. At the end of uh, Chen Sheng, type of leader to field of beta decay. Oh, wow. Cool. A 
Dr. Wu proved a theory of physics that reshaped how we think of subatomical particles. That's so awesome! Alright. Oh, she was on the Manhattan Project. Oh, mm. shit. Hey, we found a puzzle piece. That's cool. I learned something on a video game. That's sick as hell. Click on the girl's sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh, someone new. Have a seat. We're just about to get started. Yeah. Oh. Oh Darn, my I god. I'd be able to click on it. Look at that tearaway printer paper. Baby, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's such a mood. Is that at the snack table? Welcome, please sign our guest book. Uh, do they say anything else? Get yourself to some coffee or some Minna's famous spring rolls. Oh, go on. <laughs> oh, I love a fucking spring roll, though. Damn. Family. Yeah? You want to go get sushi burritos after this? I know we're trying to save money, but I hear the siren song of the sushi burrito calling me. Ah, uh, you had me at hey. Yeah! Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, I'm clearly trying to take notes on the material, so shoot! Am I in the wrong room? This is definitely not the support group for people who have grown too emotionally attached to vloggers. <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't think we were going there today. I've attended advocacy talks up all all up and down the East Coast. This one, by far, has the best lemon square and bratty selection. <laughs> all right, Teddy. Oh, so affirming. I'm approaching max validation. Makes me want to strut right out of here and start a revolution. Hell yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, you want this one? Go you, for it. You go. <laughs> hey, you know the beloved franchise Space Fight Episode 7 Return of the Guy? Copyrighted. Remember when Bananigan Cloud Pitcher <laughs> is revealed to be the guy? I just feel like people really misunderstand his character. Alright, so this is a bunch of fun flavor text. This rules. Yeah. That was cool. I love totally optional areas. That's sick. Alright. Oh my <laughs> god, we have some very big weirdos. Very colorful characters. God, we... <laughs> the very adult bar. Hell yeah. Alright, who's that who's meditating? Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh oh oh god. Uh oh. <laughs> Stampede. Uh oh. Hey, man. Hey. Oh, you want this one? Yeah. Go for it. Go for <laughs> hey, it. Hey, man. You got any change or novelty tie-dye apparel? Oh, buddy. Wow, Star Child. I can, like, feel your energy from over here. I'd say it's harshing my whole thing right now. But the truth is... I free cycled some really gnarly bagels for lunch today out of the dumpster behind the furniture store. Oof. My mellow has been thoroughly pre harshed. Huh? Why would there be bagels in the dumpster of a furniture store? Oh. Throw pillows. Bummer. Eh. Listen, who among us hasn't woken up at noon in a van under a blanket, felt it equally from Stranger Lint and candy wrappers? It's no wonder I got the wrong dumpster. If anything, it's fate. Gross. <laughs> I made an it's totally chill to meet you dot com dot org. <laughs> I sort of knew someone would seek me out today. I'm like a bit of a clairvoyant, according to some sub forums I visited online. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I've I'm met also this. Kind of, I'm also kind of an empath. 
kind of an empath. I totally know what you're feeling right now. Plus, I own a somewhat unsettling amount of powerful crystals. <laughs> Their potent energies course through me to my inner core. Which is great, since I spent the last of my dosh on some suspiciously expensive crystals. And my inner core is super starving, man. Damn. Alright, what about Pat? Did you say Pat? He's a pretty cool guy. Kinda dresses like a preschooler, though, if I'm being real serious. Yeah, a little bit. My little sister Lizzie is dating his cousin, so I guess you could say we're kind of like family. It. You can say anything to strangers, really. No one can stop you. That is true, but goddamn, you shouldn't. <laughs> oh, buddy. Night. Ah, oh, dude, I'm sorry. I really can't tell you much. I've been sworn to secrecy. Yeah, all right. What about next? I could actually, like, probably tell you a few things if you do me a solid first. You see those suspiciously expensive, expensive crystals I mentioned earlier? Mm -hmm. Well, those little mamas were also suspiciously powerful. From just three nights of holding them, <laughs> even when I had to get up to pee, I feel magically charged enough to access my innermost self. God. But in my tireless questing through the crystal connection arts, I just don't have the time to shower or dust my pewter miniatures. <laughs> Besides, bathing is a way for the man to keep us down. God. Oh, God. Who is the celebrity that said I only shower like once a week? That wasn't Jake Gyllenhaal, was it? No idea. Was it Ryan Gosling? Uh, no idea. Oh, well. I'm gonna say it's Ryan... I... I'm gonna slander Ryan Gosling and say he's fucking gross. <laughs> Sorry. You're not a kid enough until you take a shower. Ugh. You should be sliding across the floor for an oil slick of your own creation. Like nature intended. My aromatic scent keeps away a lot of unwanted company, like solicitors and my father. But... It invited others. I'm talking about flies. These little buzz and buzz kills keep harshing my mellow. They're making it impossible for me to concentrate on my inner light to the inner right to do it inner right, if you know what I mean. Yeah. If you could just swat them away from me while I'm getting my meditation on, I'd be happy to do you a solid in return. So you be my spotter swatter. Meditation infestation. Slap a fly from an icky guy. God, I can't believe we're playing Mario Paint Fly Swatter. Mm -hmm. Look on the flies and hornets. Hornets, uh, take extra hits. Do not hit butterflies or Aiden. Got it. All right. Yeah, I had there a we dream go. Dream when I was a butterfly hanging out around a bunch of flies who were getting swatted. Ha. Then I wondered, <laughs> it's happening. The sub forums were right. I have to keep going. Round two. No, oh, no! I hit the butterfly. Damn it. I'll do it again. Yeah, let's piss off. Oh, I'm starting to feel the cosmos and pick up Wi-Fi. Oh no, he's picking up Wi-Fi. Keep going. I'm almost there. Oh uh, no! Uh oh Oh my god 
Yeah, let's go! He did it, he achieved enlightenment. We did it, we picked up Wi-Fi! Hello, my star child. Through crystal channeling and staying modestly hydrated like an advised on social medias, I have been able to reach my most powerful form. That's hilarious. I'm still the Aiden you've known and adored for so long. So long. But a new, more powerful Aiden. <laughs> a Payton, as it were. Like how I haven't been paid in weeks. I'm so hungry. It. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't feel the human desire for food in my new astral mode. Hey, did you just hear an ice cream truck? Uh, no reason. I just like the song the truck plays. It's a real bop. No, I'm not crying. It. I can now tell you a bit about the event. Since I'm be a being of pure energy, and knowledge given form. But also, a being that's like extremely good at keeping secrets, man. What little I can tell you is it concerns Pat for a certain reason. Yep. That's really all I can say. I don't want Lizzie to get too mad at me for spilling the beans. She's got those angry little sister hands. No, not the angry little sister hands. Even beings of pure peaceful energy are averse to tiny sister punches. The mal. Thank you again for your spiritual guidance. What you have done here today will not soon be forgotten. At least not for 45 minutes of short-term memory I have. Hey, did you hear an ice cream truck? That's hilarious. All right, well. Hey, you got a light? No, not for my cigarette. I mean in general. It's kind of dark out here, and I, I've got a spooky ghost allergy. You ain't seen any, right? You want to get in the bar pub, you're going to have to cough up an ID. Or anything, really. Coughing up stuff is generally an adult thing. Getting older and glamorous. The other night I coughed up something that was shaped just like the state of Arizona. I tried to show it to Slasher, but he wouldn't even look. That's gross, Raul. Quit smoking, you dingus! Yeah, quit smoking, stupid. It even had the Grand Canyon on it. Hey, what are you looking at? Are you trying to listen to our exceedingly private rooftop conversation? Beat it, creep. Not even talking about anything interesting. Move on. Definitely nothing interesting, just extremely boring things. Yeah, in fact, we're not even talking. We're just sitting up here in silence. Our mouths are only moving to aerate our gums. Yeah, we just care a lot about oral hygiene, so buzz off. We're definitely not talking about the juicy details of Slasher here's a hilariously disastrous love life, so beat it. Yeah. Hey. He's a good guy, he's just not so good at- He's a good guy, he's just not so good at the romance thing, you see. Eric. First date at a sporting goods store. I needed sneakers. And he was running half an hour late. Because I didn't have the sneakers. Still, she had an okay time. She ate his phone in front of him, so she was sure he didn't have her number. <sighs> That's hilarious. All right, weirdos. I say, you there, Vagrant! Why Why did I just do that? Yeah, I say, you there, Vagrant! <laughs> what am I doing for fucking Valentino? Jesus do it. Commit yeah. to the bit. I say, you there, Vagrant! Yeah, yeah, see, yeah! I say, you there, Vagrant! 
Brother, I don't think they're a vagrant. They've got that suit on. Perhaps a hobo king? Hmm. Uh, I don't know what voice I'm throwing. You may be right, sister. <laughs> they're Skeletor now. You there, hobo king. Come here for a moment. Honestly, brother, what are we even doing in this filthy part of town? Even breathing the air outside this seedy watering hole is making my scales lose their highly regarded luster. I agree. I agree, sister, but you know as well as I that we had to find an unbiased bonehead for our beneficiary. So anyone at the estate was out. Besides, you know how weary I grow of literally everyone we know in the whole world. Shall we talk to this stranger with the briefcase then? Yes! Yes! As long as not someone that gives me the dreadful horror of being known. Brother, this nobody doesn't seem to be aware of who we are. I love how you're doing a high class voice. I'm just like, yeah, he man. I'm trying to be like a super, super villain lady. In, uh, I'm, I'm done with he man. Indeed, sister. Perhaps with that pinstripe style, they've spent the last 30 or so years locked in the storage closet with their fingers in their ears. And other fingers in their eyes. And fingers yet still in their nose. Obviously, they released that perfume this year. Obviously. I am Princess Valentino, heir to the Valentino fortune. And this is my brother, Prince Valentino. He's the heir. He's also the heir, since we're twins. I'm the evil twin. They couldn't test for that gene, and you know it, Prince. <laughs> I love how I'm either uh, James or Maximilian Pegasus now. <laughs> what have I done? Pat, why? He's our second cousin. That's like a cousin, but thankfully a little more removed from your gene pool. The amount of DNA shared between us is blessedly on the shallow side. Much like your personality, sister. Oh, Prince, you're such a cut-up. Much like how I cut up your invitation uh, to the Met Gala this year and fed it to the cat. Damn! <laughs> what? Oh, but the theme this year was the Monopoly mascot! And you know Mittens the third is on a strict diet for her failing kidneys. That's hilarious. Holy sh shit. Well, now you're going to have to be a more specific. I attend lots of events, you know. Balls, galas, exhibitions, Prince's unfortunate performance art shows. If you are speaking of the last week when I walked on the runway for Gill's Fashion Fishery rubber pants for moist alligators, I'll have you know I got a write-up in a magazine spread for highlights for children. Anyway, if you are talking about tonight, we have no qualms spilling the whole secret to you. Ah. It is. If only you'd do us the smallest of favors. All right, sure. You see, our beloved daddy passed away just recently from poison-related complications. You know, the natural way. We're splitting up our shared inheritance, but we could really use a mediator. And someone to protect my beautiful face from dear sister's punches. It's true. I punch super duper hard. If only we had some help dividing up Daddy's precious possessions. I'm sure we could tell you the information you seek. So, will you help us? Or do you have Hobo King duties to attend to? Damn. Divine to inheritance. Split the perks between these jerks. Use the checklist to assign an item to each of the Valentino twin. You can't leave until both are happy, so pay attention to the indicator. Well, let's get on with this. Daddy's not getting any more alive. I'm already bored. All right. So. 
I simply couldn't. <laughs> My conscience wouldn't allow it. It clashes terribly with everything I own, and I'd be up all night worrying about it. It. About the armor. Mmm, shiny. Oh, that's you. Mmm, shiny, damaged, and empty. Well, it wouldn't be totally out of place with me, I suppose. Valentino the hat. Rather gauche, don't you think? My balls are so last season, which is why I'm having mine removed next month. Oh, he has also a crocodile eyeball hat. Give her the wine. Give her the wine! This really brings back memories. Remember when we walled up tense uh, tipsy cousin Cleo in the wine cellar after luring her with the promise of an even finer vintage? Cask of Amontillado! Oh, how we laughed. Uh, give her the final? I don't know. These are mostly comp compilations of Halloween sound effects and screams, so yes, please give this to me. Uh. Sack of cash, I see. What about Give her the sack of cash. Give her, Give her the sack of cash. There we are. Daddy always did like to show off our wealth. Money sacks, diamond throwing, parties, DJ PJs made of two-part danger tiger, one-part Great Barrier Reef. Daddy knew how to live. Oh, so we gotta figure out what should go to whom's. No, she does not want the photo. A signed photo of the president, to be rather straight with you, I didn't vote for him, or that gold chain. Alright, that lowered her value here. Okay, we can reassign it. Well, it's a conversation piece, I suppose. What happens if we give her the armor? Oh, they want the armor. I give him the mink coat to him then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we are. Oh, j oh cozy. All right, fantastic. All right, all right, all right. So he's not into the hat, but what if she is? Yeah, she is. The secret society hat? I wondered if it had been lost after the SWAT raids. Okay. So she didn't and really I think care. Give the wine to him. Yeah. Oh wow! A fine vintage from the year I was born. Daddy was saving it for when I became an admirable member of society. Good thing he died, and I can just take it. So the photo goes to him. The painting. Let's, Let's try giving him the painting. Let's see. Oh, baby. Hmm. This would be more of a masterpiece if it depicted something important, like me, or perhaps me. Uh, she got a small boost off of the sack of cash, so I'm going to leave that there. So, Urn of Ashes. She seems especially sentimental about her father's stuff, so let's see if sack Urn of Ashes helps. There we are. I hear ashes are replacing charcoal as the new go-to face mask for keeping scales glossy. Jesus. Orb! Orb. Orb. Maybe she likes the esoteric? Yeah, there we are. If I wanted to see something mysterious and confusing, I'd look at Prince's new headshots. It, what happens if we give him the orb then? Oh! Mother is rather into these types of things as well. You might say ironic mysticism runs in the family, like bloodlust or beautiful knees. Give You're giving her the sports car. Definitely. I think she deserves it. Well, my several phones could use a car. Uh, give him the parrot? No, he does not like the parrot. This creature is vile. All it does is yell about sports teams and say, Help! Help! I'm being poisoned! Ah, but that does make me wistful about dear old dad. Did she get the violent blade? Oh, yeah. Great grandmother's claymore is the rightful place. Me in my penthouse. Or possibly in my ex-boyfriend, Blake, the house music DJ. Okay, so she does not like the vinyls. Okay. So, let's give... You seem rather, rather large for my multiple Blu-ray players. Yes, I have more than one. I have two eyes, don't I? 
Uh, okay, so we gotta figure out how to balance. Try this. giving her the parrot. Yep. Bernard, I spent 50 hours training him to eat $50 bills in front of our governess as she cried. Damn. Sweet childhood memories. Alright. So. Sack of cash over to him. Ah, uh, father's beloved cartoonish sack of money. It reminds me so much of him. Cold, hard, and beneath my flippers. Um, okay. Move the vinyl back over. There we are. There we are. Of course, you can record screams digitally, but they don't have the warm, blood curdling terror of a physical record. That's hilarious. There we go. Let's go. What? There we that's all of Daddy's things, and I feel quite pleased with my haul. And me as well. Why, I'm in such a good mood, I almost feel... I'm almost feeling feelings again. Seriously, brother? How pedestrian. I know, please don't tell any of the servants. They'll start asking me for silver dollars or whatever they eat out these days. I guess we should thank you, Pinstripes, and tell you what you want to know about the event. But we won't... But we won't... Uh, your snoot yeah. is our smiling snoot. Your ward is our smiling snoots. Now get out of our car before we ring the police. <laughs> Ojo Sama laughed at MP5. Alright, so that's everything outside of here, so I guess we gotta go into the bar. Very adult bar. Very adult. Oh shit! Majima, Majima everywhere! Wait, who's that in the bathroom? Like, it's peeking out. I think that was just a hint for, um. Mm hmm. Damn. It. Well, we gotta talk to Gora Majima. Of course. Kid you, Jan! <laughs> Leave me alone unless you want a knuckle sandwich. Seriously, do you want it? I, it was the boss special of the day, but I ain't got it the heart to eat it now because of nervous guts. Oh my god, Daft Punk? Hell yeah. Anyways, what do you want? I don't really have time to talk right now. I'm waiting for somebody. But maybe they're a no-show. Whom? People call me the knife on account of my design containing sharp edges. And how I poked my eye out in a freak jack o and coughing accident back in the fourth grade. And cause I'll cut you. Out of extracurriculars if I catch you in the hall without a pass. I'm a guidance counselor for Miss Petty Snoot's School for Snobby and Gifted Middle Schoolers. The nickname is just there to scare the preteens, to be honest. Yeah, I know, Pat. Who's asking? Oh, 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 you are right. Uh, right. Sorry, I'm a little socially anxious right now. And basically all of the time. I've known Pat since high school when the seniors got paired up with a freshman buddy to run the three-legged race. As the gym teacher tied the rope around our legs, Pat flipped out and thought he was being kidnapped. He started running like a maniac down the football field with my gym pants still attached to him. That's how I got my other nickname, Birthmark Butt. Since then, we've been good pals despite it. Oh, I love that weird little guy. Look, you keep pestering me. Didn't I tell you I was waiting for someone? I gotta be honest with you, I ain't really waiting for nobody. I'm just here at the bar to practice being casual and meeting other folks. You know, in a romantical-like manner. But I always seem to say the wrong thing and scare other gators off. But how was I supposed to know complimenting someone's bulging neck veins was weird? She looked real cool! Ah, uh, but... Anyways, between work and my somewhat bad personality, I don't get out much. It's hard to just... meet people. 
In a non-weird way, you know. I, just, I wish I could just practice or something. Hey, wait a minute. That ain't a bad idea. If I could just find a buddy to practice dates on, I could be way more ready when coming... When, uh, real deal, yeah. I know you're only talking to me because Pat set you up on one of his weird and wild goose-like chases. But I ain't got a lot of friends to tell you the truth. So, maybe you could help me practice. I could help you too. What do you say? You want to go on a fake date with a rusty edge like me? Oh, shit. Mac, that knife. Take a one with All the things in this game, I didn't expect you'd get to go on a date with Majima. Majima, every gator. Take a lizard out on a practice date. Well, let's take this man out on a date. <laughs> Great. How do you feel about a change of setting? Let's head over to my workplace and you can help me out there. What now? Oh my god! <laughs> Fantastic. Welcome to the Absolutely hallowed halls phenomenal. of the Alligator International School for Gifted Youths. Oh my god. Kids are on break right now, so it's only us lonely admins. Ugh, me, I'm the lonely one. I need a big favor from you. Uh, you see, I have a meet cute tomorrow, and I don't know what to do or say or feel. Uh, my friend Karen, who works in the front office, set me up with a friend of hers. I'm not usually the blind date type, but she's... He's re... Yeah! Gay! 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 Tall, which I like. Big, which I also like. Broad shoulders. She says he's a cool, quiet type, but he has a sense of humor and a big heart. Between you and me, she says he's a real dragon in the dojima if you- Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! wonder what she told him about me. Uh, all this negative thinking is messing with my mojo. You seem like the strong, silent type, and you're cute enough that intimidates me just a little. Uh, please, you gotta help me practice for my big date. I need a boost of confidence. I mean, uh, uh, cool. Thanks. Can't arrange it all with my date. We're going on an adventure first, and then out to dinner, and then afterwards. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Natural laughter. Uh, just so, uh, what kind of adventure would you take me on? Impress me. Hmm. A date at the zoo? A trip to the beach? A nice stroll? Oh, I'd go to a botanical garden personally. Yeah, what? botanical garden's a nice first date place. Oh. I feel like the other ones are, are good for, like, later dates. That's true. Oh, great, let's go! Wait. Oh, come on, I can't pretend we're going somewhere if we don't go somewhere. The whole school is empty, don't worry. I can't believe we're <laughs> on a fake date. OMG, you picked my favorite place in the whole city! Oh, you have good taste. I actually love all the trees around this school. It's a nice piece of greenery in the big city, right? Uh, sorry, I'm breaking character. <laughs> Here we are at the imaginary botanical garden. Look at all these beautiful pony peonies. Oh, I hope the roses on season. Their bloom quality is to die for. Even the rock garden looks amazing. What? Oh, you think I'm look amazing too? Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. I'm glad we're doing this. It's been a while since I've been on a real date, like with an itinerary. Everyone I date these days just wants to watch a TV show on an old couch. Don't get me wrong, I'm not above it in staying in and getting cozy. I think a first date should be really special, you know? Oh, what's this? You bought me a present, but I didn't bring you anything. Well, that is a change of pace. Old fashioned, but in a nice way. Oh, gimme, gimme. Nice flowers. Oh, I got him flowers, we get. Men deserve to get flowers, hell yeah. Oh, they're lovely, thank you. Karen didn't warn me I was going out with such a charmer. To be fair, if it's two guys going out and one of them gets flowers, it's always gonna be getting the guy flowers. No, it's true, it's true. But also men deserve to receive flowers too. Yes. Oh, I'm getting a little hungry, you mind if we head to dinner? A reservation, oh wow, you came prepared. I'm dressed to impress from impressed? Oh, I see. This shirt really brings out your eyes. Oh, what's, is that too much? Oh, I'm trying to roleplay, but it feels a little silly. Oh, you're doing great, though. So, where did you want to eat? I heard you were quite the foodie. Some more fancy, some more... Ooh. Some more cozy is good for a first date. That's true, yeah. Hmm, quiet and intimate sounds nice. Oh, we'll be really able to get to know each other. Oh, it's nice that you have a local place, too. I've been living in the city for five years, and I finally have my coffee place. <laughs> yeah, it was a big adjustment. The city's always moving. 
I was living across the <laughs> river in Alligator, New Jersey back then. Oh, please don't ask me about those dark times. There definitely weren't any cute snoots in Alligator Hoboken, not like you. Let's head over to the restaurant. Damn. Oh, this place is nice. It's, I like the decor isn't too pretentious. So, do you come here often? Ah, oh, you're so right. I barely ain't make it out of the house myself these days. I'm so happy to be here, eating someone new. How's your chance? Give me a compliment. Ooh. What would be a good alligator compliment? Your scales are so shiny. Oh, your scales are so shiny. Oh, I'm so happy you noticed. Oh, it's been so long since I've been out on a date that Karen took... That Karen took me out to get them polished. I'm not into being pampered, usually, but now I'm glad I did it. I could definitely get used to all the attention. Oh, especially from you. You know, your scales have a beautiful shine, too. You must spend hours maintaining them. <laughs> yeah, you, you do look like you spent some time at the gym. <laughs> Stop me if I'm being too forward, but... I feel like I can really be myself around you. It's been a while since I've done this. I mean, not a long while. It's just hard for me to meet other alligators. I don't do this very often. <laughs> Stop laughing. That's why I wanted to do this. Uh, what I'm saying is I'm having a really good time with you. If you don't have any plans after dinner, want to come to the spring... Oh, God. Spring Festival. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've lived in Alligator, New York City for how long and you've never been to the East River Spring Festival? <laughs> oh, then you have to come with me. There's food, carnival games, and the whole end thing ends with a big fireworks show. What do you say we split the check and head over? Oh, flag down the way today. Let's get out of here. God, this is so cute. Uh, so much doing this one voice, holy. Uh, sorry I'm being so much of a kid. Ever since we lived in Alligator, Jersey, my family would drive into the city for the big festival. Aw, oh, thanks for indulging me. As a reward, you get to pick the first thing we do. Ah, oh, no, no. I've been coming here since I was little. It's your first time. What looks fun to you? Let's do a cultural activity. Let's play a carnival game. Let's eat some festival food. God, I would love to know what a cultural activity is in this fake date. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, my... So that's what you're into, huh? Cool. Looks like there were some arts and crafts over here. Should we make a sand painting together? Or, ooh, dip dyeing looks fun. Then I'll have a souvenir to keep from a fun first date. Aww. <laughs> oh, what a night. That guy in the bear costume. And all the pretty lights. <laughs> uh, you know, for a first time, you really, you really seem to be warming up to the festival. Believed you had fun. You never know with this kind of thing. I, I really wanted you to have a good time. Oh, to be honest, I wasn't sure I was even gonna come out tonight. A lot of people are scared of me. <laughs> Would you believe me? Not like I'm some kind of scary gangster roaming the streets at night and showing up wherever, repeatedly challenging the same person to endless street. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> Majima everywhere. Machima everywhere. I'm oh, slowly building my reputation as a mad dog who will fight anyone and anything, relentlessly punishing all who stand in the way of my personal goals. Yeah, no, you're definitely not Goro Majima. Hey, it, it, it looks like the fireworks are starting. Come with me. I know the perfect place to watch. Oh, this is cute as balls. what I tell you? The view from here is incredible, right? I... I had fun doing- oh, I hope you did too. Oh, for Karen's sake. I mean, she takes matchmaking really seriously. She's been hounding me for months to finally meet you. Oh, why am I talking about Karen right now? Oh, come on, just say the right thing. This- oh, What I'm really trying to say here is... I'm so glad I met you. You seem like a great person and it was cool hanging out. We should do this again sometime. Ah, oh, fuck! We messed up! How did we fuck up? Oh, it was the cultural festival! Oh. Uh. Because we didn't... Yeah, okay. 
So let's mouse through. Okay, so botanical garden. Yeah, uh, yeah, so with the hearts. I think that's what tells us what we need. Yeah. We got him nice flowers. Some are cozy. Scales are so shiny. So it's either carnival game or festival food. I picked the last one. You go for this one. What do you think it is, Rosita? I think festival food has the least chance of something going wrong. All I right. don't know. Uh oh. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn. Oh, so it's carnival game. Oh, man. Damn it! One more time. We got this. We got this. Yeah, we know we we can't get the answer wrong this time. God, I can't believe Kazuma Kiryu. So botanical garden. All right. So heart off of the botanical garden. Flowers. I'm more cozy. Scales are so shiny. I wonder if the restaurant choice is also something we messed up. Because we didn't get a heart off of that either. Hmm. Let's play a carnival game. Karen told me you were competitive, not like in a bad way. I'll tell you what, you win me a big platypus stall, I'll be very impressed. Impressed. Uh, a reward? <laughs> win the game first, buddy, and then we'll talk. <laughs> what a night! Alright. Let's see if this changes it. I'm gonna tell you, I had fun. If you don't mind me being a little old fashioned, you go out with me? There we are! You did it! Took a few tries, but hey, we got there. Wow, that was uh, actually kind of freaking magical if I. Oh, if I'm totes being real with you. <laughs> wow, I, oh, I feel like I learned a lot actually. Kind of funny now. They're kind of oh, floppy in my guts. Must be that Uncle Sam is coming back to haunt me. <laughs> yeah, that's the ticket. Uh, that said, I don't really know a lot about the event, but I know that I'll be there at least. On account of being invited by Pat's mom. Maybe we can hang out. At the, uh, at the event, I mean. Like, outside of it, like, like it's a thing. <laughs> Natural laughter. Aw, we're dating Goro Majima! <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, he's no Cosmic Kiryu, but he'll do. He'll do very well. Alright, so... I think we have a few more... targets in here that we have to hit. Yeah, check so, the briefcase. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, what are we sitting at? 27 out of 33, so, so we yes. got six more we need. Yeah. All right, so what do you say we take another quick break? Mm -hmm. Um, And we will be back with some more later alligator shortly. Later.